Hi YouTube. Uh, I know you guys get angry with me when I mention somebody who is dead, but today I'm making an, an exception. So, uh, firstly, uh, I'm just finding this out today. Honest to God, I'm finding this out today. Yeah, because, you know, I haven't been watching this person's videos for quite a while, so I've been trying to, you know, remind myself to go watch this person's video, you know, basically. Because it's been a while since I've watched his, like, his YouTube channel. He's a YouTuber named, Hel was at first named Helsing920. But he also goes by the name of um, em Emmer Privas, Privas, I think that's how you say it, okay, Privas, and if those of you who don't know, he does reaction and review, and he's really good at it, he's totally good at it, completely, and I'm just finding now, now, today, That he passed away the sixth, the sixth of this month, because people have been making videos since the seventh of this month, and I'm just, I'm just really overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed to the point of the fact that. Cause I just find I'm just finding out a couple of celebrities that have died this year. I also found out that Jerry Lewis died recently. So I know all you Jerry Lewis fans are really upset about that. But Emmer, honest to God, I never met the man. I know what the man's work was all about. So those of you who know me very well, you know I've kind of gotten some of the information I've gotten from his videos. Uh, two certain people, Chris Chan, sorry, Christian Weston Chandler, and Spax3. Not, not sure if I'm going to take down the Spax3 video just yet, but, you know, I, I'm still thinking about it. But either way, um, I'm just really just shocked about this because I wasn't his subscribers. But I knew who the guy was. You know, I know him from, I would know him from anywhere. At first he had his Healthy 920 video on YouTube during the time. Then it got taken down. So then also there was his uh, actual name, but not saying reaction and review, but also he does reaction and review. You get what I mean. But either way, uh, this guy was kind of my inspiration, one of my inspirations, because he was a ranter. He ranted about movies or stuff about movies. And also sometimes people, which is Bingo, Chris Chan, and what else? I always watch his reaction and review videos, you know, once in a while to see what he's doing. And, you know, he may not be a big time YouTuber, but he has pretty much, like most people will say, a, a cult following. So, really, honest to God, I'm just like totally overwhelmed by this because I knew the man's work, I knew what he did for YouTube and for his viewers. He really cared a lot, like you just hear him just rant on on a bad movie, on his reaction and reviews. It was really fun. It's fun to just see him do that because, you know, he did review Legend of Chung Li, Last Airbender, some of the movies I reviewed. One movies I will respect that 
one bad movies that he I will respect that he loved was Dragon Ball Evolution. Hey, hey, I'm not saying he sucks because of that. No, no. If he liked Dragon Ball Evolution, then oh well. He liked it. Nothing else I can really say about it. Smurfs. Yes. Still hate that movie though, but if he liked it. Honest to God, nothing but respect. I respect what he liked. I respect what he didn't like. And yes, he did hate Doug Walker and and um, Channel Awesome. Everybody from Channel Awesome. Almost everybody from Channel Awesome, he hated. But, uh, hey. This is a world where people have their own opinions about stuff, people, things, you know. You can't make people like the things that you like. But for one thing, I had up the utmost respect for him. Yeah, he may have liked some bad movies, some bad superhero movies. But who cares? You know, I don't attack people's opinion at all, not necessarily. You know, but I have the utmost respect for him. And it's the word, the R word, respect. Complete respect for people's opinion. If you like the bad movie that I hated, you know what? Maybe you might find something that I hate, but honest to God, heard that he was really rocky with most people. You know, most people have their hard times with him. And, you know, like I said, one last time respect. Respect the man, even if he was a little hard sometimes. But even though, nothing but respect. So, either way, he will be honestly got missed on this site. And um, my condolences to his friends and family that are out there. Honest to God, uh, yeah, they had a very creative person in their lives, and I'm sorry that you've lost that creative person. So, with that said, not going by Vertical Spy right now, I'm going by Alex, Alexander Holiday right now, for right now, but honest to God, be, just rest in, rest in peace. Rest in peace.